hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be reviewing some products that I am so in love with these I'm so excited so these products are from Equibotanics and I love them that's all I can say like I'm actually so happy to be reviewing these products because I've tried this one the leave-in conditioner before like some years ago and I loved it and I was always going to purchase it and yeah now I got the deep conditioner and I also got the black seed hair serum so it's called Babasu deep treatment mask hair mask and this one is the marula oil leave-in conditioner and black seed hair serum these products are amazing products that when you use your hair will thank you for it so I've been using them and on my last wash day I used the three products after cleansing my hair I did the deep conditioning the leave-in conditioner and I used the oil and this is how I achieved this style as well as my daughter's style so keep watching and I'll show you everything and I'll tell you all about it hello guys today I'm going to be washing my hair Now it's time for me to rinse my hair. <laughs> so as you can see, my hair is dry and tangled from an old wash and go. And I'm just going to use the black seed hair serum to do a pre-pool slash a hot oil treatment. Just look at the texture of this oil. I call it liquid gold. So literally I rub this all around my hair I ensure that the oil saturates my hair and then I go ahead and I cover my hair with a plastic cap and I cover it with my head warmer and then I carry on with my daily activities so the next thing that I do is I deep condition my daughter's hair I'm using the Babasu deep treatment hair mask and it's enriched with the Murumuru and Tukuma seed butter just look at the texture of this deep conditioner the sleep is amazing it smells beautiful and the sleep is amazing so i use squeezing feet to apply this deep conditioner to my daughter's hair so i just literally squeeze the product into her hair and then i just ensure that it's well saturated especially around her ends because the ends are the oldest part of our hair so i just ensure that the hair is well saturated with the product so i always work in sections and yeah like i said i concentrate on the ends and make sure that the ends are well moisturized with the deep conditioner so the next thing we do after this will be to clip the hair in sections i did it this way you could do it in twists if you want but we just wanted to do it in with clips today also there's something else i always do i section out the crown of her hair and i make sure that i give the crown attention because sometimes we neglect the crown of our hair depending on how we part the hair so i'm still putting this precious product on my daughter's hair and a little goes a long way the sleep is out of this world you're able to remove all the shed hair from your hair whilst applying this product on your hair and these products are enriched with amazing ingredients so it's brimming with fatty acids to help the hair retain moisture so at this point we go ahead and cover her hair with a shower cap and we're going to apply heat to her hair for 20 minutes indirectly through a hooded dryer. By the way, I have just washed my hair and remember I had no detangling done whatsoever. I literally went with the hot oil treatment and look at how my hair is looking already. So I go ahead with the deep treatment mask and I apply it to my hair as well. Look at the texture of that deep conditioner. The sleep. It's amazing. Wow. 
I literally went on knotted hair and the slip is just amazing the deep conditioner is literally melting those knots away from my hair it's almost like I can't believe it it is amazing so I just carry on applying the deep conditioner on the whole of the rest of my hair basically concentrating on the ends as well as the mid length of my hair I'm going to tell you this the slip in this, this deep conditioner is just actually shocking me I didn't expect it so I had used the leave-in conditioner before which was lovely but this deep conditioner on wet hair does the job So I just open my hair up so that I, I am applying the deep conditioner on all the parts of my hair. So I'm literally finger detangling and sectioning. So as you can see, there's no deep conditioner on that side. So I just apply a little bit on both sides to ensure that all the strands of my hair are fully saturated and coated with this amazing product. And I can get the benefits on all the strands of my hair. So this is nearly finished. As you can see, look at the bounce my hair is already having. I have not used a comb on my hair. I'm literally able to remove all the knots, all the shed hair from my hair. I am actually, <laughs> I'm actually in awe. I don't know what words to use anymore, but I love this product on my hair. okay so at this point all i have to do is to cover it i'm not going to be using direct heat i'll just use my my winter cap to warm my head up while i go and sort out my daughter's hair so she has had the hooded dryer for 20 minutes now and that's it time up so what's going to happen now is we will rinse the hair out and then we're going to style it she doesn't want the, <laughs> the shower cap okay okay so usually i should have detangled first before rinsing but we did it the other way around so i rinsed it first but i'm still going to use the the detangling comb to comb out all the fluff so because she's a child and her hair gathers a lot of fluff during the deep conditioning process I comb out any fluff that I may find in her hair so I twist each section away and then I do a final rinse so once the rinse is done I dry her hair using a microfiber towel and I'll leave in the description where I got the towel from and then let's see what's going on with my hair hmm. as you can see my hair is looking soft and well conditioned wow so soft yeah it's almost unbelievable just amazing you can see it so it's not as if I'm just saying it from the video you can tell how soft my hair is looking just by feeling or seeing rather so at this point I'm just going to detangle in sections so that when I'm styling I'm not going to worry about detangling so I use the white tooth comb first and look at how it's gliding through can you see this this is magic I tell you that deep conditioner is magic. So I comb that out and then I go in with the detangling brush. And each section I do, I do a little plait and twist just to keep it secure. And then I do a final rinse. So let me know in the comments, do you deep condition your hair and how often do you do it? 
So back to detangling, just look at how that comb is gliding through the hair effortlessly. So I do use the white tooth comb and I've barely lost any hair. As you can see, look, that is it. And then I go in with the detangling brush. All this to make is to make my styling process easier. So once I've gone in with my detangling brush and the hair is all detangled, like I said, I do a plait, a loose three strand plait and then I twist it away. And now I'm doing my final rinse. So once my final rinse is done, at this point, because you're washing in plait, you have to ensure that you are thoroughly rinsing your hair. You don't want to leave residue in the plaits. So I ensure that my hair is thoroughly rinsed and then I'm going to go to styling. But meanwhile, what is going on with S's hair? We're going to find out soon. So I take off her towel and I'm going to apply the leave-in conditioner. I'm using the Marula Oil Leave-In Conditioner and just look at that, creamy goodness. So I, because her hair was already in twist, I will just put the leave-in conditioner on it on twist and then I will allow the product go in while I style the hair. So I'm just massaging the product in and now I'm doing the style. So we're going for two, two, would I call it two ponytails with twists on each side and then four twists in front. That was the style she chose. So I'm using the black seed serum. You know, this one is called my liquid gold and I'm literally just going to put that on the lines that I've cut. And this oil or serum is enriched with brain raj and brahmi. I hope I've said them correctly. And these herbs are amazing for hair growth. If you're an Ayurvedic lover, you know what I'm talking about. So these oils, they are just amazing. So I pat her hair into two and I literally just twist it on both sides. So I still take a little bit of the leave-in conditioner when I'm doing my twist, depending on how saturated it is. Remember, I did it all together, not um, in different batches. And then I also put a little bit of my oil on the tips of the hair. So I use the oil to seal the hair. <laughs> Ignore my kids. Everyone wanted to see what she was watching as she gets to enjoy playing with my phone when her hair is being done. So I've twisted one side and I just replicated that on the other side. If you come on my Instagram, you'll see how we style her hair. So it's late at night, everyone has gone to bed and I decided to style my hair. So I went in with my leave-in conditioner, the Marilla oil, and literally, this is the Bantu Nut style I went for. I just moisturized the last one left, the tango, and then I twist the hair away and wrap it up. So you know what I'm going with next, the black seed oil, my liquid gold. I don't play with this oil at all. Yeah, I'm literally going in with this one now to massage my scalp. It's a long day and I just need that scalp massage. I also used it when I seal the ends of my hair as well. So yeah, that's it. I do all this, ensure my hair is massaged. And then I put on my bonnet. And it's bed. Good night. <laughs> if it was that quick. So yes, the next day or a few days later, I unravel my my bantu knots. I didn't do it straight away the next day. This was a few days later. And um, I just unraveled the bantu knots with my oil. And this is what the style is looking like. As you can see, my hair is looking all moisturized. It's strengthened, it's shiny. And my daughter at this point, her hair was a few days old. So we had turned it into a twist out more or less. But the hair was still moisturized for seven days. And that's everything. Thank you for watching. Bye.